Lock screen widgets are probably iOS 16's most talked about feature, and they're pretty slick at giving us a quick look at a variety of information from different apps, including Apple Home. So in this video, we'll dig a little bit deeper into Apple Home lock screen widgets. Let's get into it. Greetings Internet, my name is Dustin and this is my home kit home and here we look at the smart home with an Apple home and accessibility focus. Starting with iOS 14, Apple introduced home screen widgets and I honestly can't imagine my phone without them. I use home screen widgets to stay updated on the weather, to keep track of different things that I need to do throughout the day with the reminders app, and we can even keep tabs on the latest home kit news right from the news widget. But unfortunately, we still don't have a native Apple home widget for our home screens. Oddly though, Apple did give us a home widget for the lock screens that rolled out in iOS 16. So in this video, we'll look at how to set them up and what we can actually do with them. But first, you know what else I have on lock? My wallet with an AirTag, but you don't want to just jam one into any old wallet. No, you want one of Exter's AirTag wallets. These ultra slim minimalist wallets securely hold your AirTag in place without adding a ton of bulk. They neatly hold up to six cards which are easily accessible with the quick release button. They also feature a built-in RFID blocker to thwart any potential ne'er-do-wells from stealing your card's information from afar. Not only are they compact, practical, and secure, they also look super sweet. Exter offers a variety of styles with a ton of different color options and materials to customize your wallet. And the best part, you can get up to 40% off your order during their holiday sale now through December 25th by using promo code MYHOMEKITHOME at checkout or by going to shop.exter.com slash myhomekithome and you'll find links down below. I absolutely love this thing and thank you to Exter for sponsoring today's video. And now onto the widgets. In order to set up an Apple Home lock screen widget, you'll first need to create a lock screen wallpaper. To do this, unlock your device but don't jump into the home screen. Now tap anywhere on this screen to get into your lock screen's jiggle mode and then tap the add new or plus button. First, you'll need to choose a wallpaper that you want to start customizing. I won't go through all of them here, but once we've chosen a wallpaper, we can then start to customize it, and there are actually quite a few different aspects that we can make our own. You'll notice that there are two widget areas, but only the main one can be used for Apple Home widgets. Tapping Add Widget brings up a list of all of the native and third-party widgets we can add to our lock screen, including Apple Home. Now at the top of the list we have some suggestions, but if we scroll down a bit we'll get to our Home section, and if we expand this we have a list of all of the different Apple Home widgets we can add to our lock screens. There are essentially four different types of Apple Home lock screen widgets. The Home Summary widget gives you a bird's eye view of the current status of your HomeKit home with information like temperature, how many lights are on, and if any doors or windows are open. The Climate widget allows you to either get a summary of all of the climate sensors in your home like temperature, air quality, humidity, and smoke, or you can choose to display the information from one specific sensor. The security widget functions in a very similar fashion, allowing you to display a general status of all of your security devices in your home, like garage doors, smart locks, or security systems, or you can elect to display the status of just one of those devices. Now, the lighting widget actually works similar to the home summary widget, giving us a general idea of what's going on with our home's lighting. We don't actually have the ability to display the status of one single light. Now for me, this is a definite missed opportunity for enhanced functionality. For example, you could set up an automation that would trigger a light to turn on whenever a family member arrives home. This would give you that confirmation right from your lock screen that said family member has arrived home safely. So I'd really like to see this come to future iterations of these Apple Home lock screen widgets. Also, you may have noticed that the summary widgets for each of the categories are rectangular, whereas the single accessory widgets for climate and security are actually circular, and it doesn't seem that there's a way that we can change this. Now, if you're choosing a single climate or security widget, you can adjust which accessory type is displayed by long pressing on the widget, tapping edit, and then choosing the accessory type. You'll notice that we don't actually get to choose a specific accessory, but rather an accessory type, which then displays an average or a range of the readings from that accessory type that is throughout your home. If I'm being honest, I don't find this all that useful except for maybe something like temperature, but then again, this is pretty valuable real estate on your lock screen. 
Once you've gotten your widgets and the rest of your lock screen just right, you'll tap add and then you'll choose whether or not you want these settings to carry over to your home screen or you can choose to customize it. And Bob's your uncle. That's really all there is to it. These new Apple Home lock screen widgets are pretty nifty for keeping tabs on your HomeKit home at a glance, but there are some limitations. First, we can't actually control our HomeKit accessories from these lock screen widgets. Tapping on the widget just takes us to Apple's Home app, so we still need to go into Control Center if we want to control our HomeKit accessories while our phone is locked. Secondly, we still, two years later, don't have native Apple Home widgets for our home screens. For this, you'll need to use a third-party app like Home Widget or Home Plus 6. And if you're interested in seeing how those work, leave me a comment down below and I'll see what I can do about making it happen. Now, if you're interested in a written walkthrough of how to add Apple Home widgets to your lock screen, you can check out the blog over at myhomekithome.com. Also, don't forget to check us out on social media at myhomekithome for even more HomeKit and smart home accessibility tidbits. Now, if you made it this far, that means you probably liked today's video, which means you'll probably enjoy more like it. So smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our future videos. In the meantime, to learn more about other ways to control your HomeKit home, Home, check out one of these videos here and we'll see you over there.